What is up? So, I've got a package I wanted to open up. It's a Shimano Corrado DC. I've been dying to get one of these for a long time. I've been wanting one for a while and uh, super excited about this one. I'm going to open it up and, and uh, go through it a little bit. Corrado DC 150XG Shimano. <clears throat> I love the sound these make. I see them on videos all the time. I like I like the way they uh, they're supposed to run real smooth. Even comes with a some little lube. First off, I'm used to lose, and that seems a lot taller than normal that I'm used to. Very, very smooth. Check that out. <clears throat> so over here on the side, there's a lever, like a little wheel. I don't think there's like a one, a two, three, four. So there's a four, and those are for different types of string line. Different types of line on there. I don't know off the hand which, which ones are which, but wow, it's really, really smooth feeling. I'm going to probably pair it up with. Uh, Guggen, 17 pound fluorocarbon, and uh, I'm going to check that out and see how it goes. I, uh, on the rod, I'm still not sure what rod I'm going to do. I'm going to do one just temporary, just to throw it out there and go test it out. Probably about a 7 footer, uh, lose 7 footers. It has a uh, Eight and a half gear. I like the high gear. Let's see what the uh, Let's see what the, uh, manual. Okay, so right here it says number one is for maximum distance and calm conditions. So number one is calm conditions, maximum distance. Number two is braided and monofilament lines in any conditions. Number three is for fluorocarbon lines in any condition. And number four is for extreme windy conditions, beginners and skipping technique. So I'll probably be using three. I'll leave it on three there. <clears throat> I really like the thumb on it so far. Uh, I don't know how a lot of people may use theirs, but I like to have my thumb right there and I can easily keep my thumb on the spool and just kind of just pop that down I like that it's got a nice normal feel to it so uh, yeah I'm gonna go fill this up with line and uh, come back to you guys try it out all right here we go 51 degrees outside today. I got her lined up with this new Guggen. 17 pound, 100% fluorocarbon. Got her on a, uh, got the DC here. Just put her on a regular old lose pole for now. I'm gonna go out here and uh, see if I can't try it out. See if I can't catch something. Might get lucky. All right, I started off by tying a 
Start off by tying a whopper plopper on there. Figured I'd go with something slow. Alright. First ever cast with the Corrado Shimano DC. I like these whopper ploppers. I had a lot better luck with them up north. No, it's not ideal. Use a whopper plopper on fluorocarbon. But. Trying to get it tuned it out. Wow. Does have some good distance. I wasn't even barely trying there and I got pretty much farther than I've ever thrown with my other reels. I usually throw uh, a lot of lose. I like lose. I got a custom black. Got an orange crush. I'd like to use a jerk bait, but I'm about positive I'll lose it out here. There's a lot of this uh, green netting at the bottom. And uh, I don't know if you can see it down there in the picture. There's some down there in the bottom right now. This stuff here uh, gets stuck on everything on the bottom. You got to be careful what you use on the bottom. <laughs> That's awesome. I didn't even have to hardly, I didn't even touch that really at all. I just let it flow. Just let it soar on its own. It stopped itself. Let me just check my drag. That's all right. Trying to reel this in as slow as I can. One thing I do notice about the reel is I don't know if it's because I'm used to lose or what, but it seems really tight right in here. Like it doesn't seem like it has any kind of like like it actually reels kind of tight. Like like there's a little tension on there. I don't know if it might be the drag a little bit. But. I got it on number three option for fluorocarbon. There's really no wind today. Pretty calm, but 51. I can't imagine what the, I don't know idea what the water would be right now. The whopper plopper I'm using, I believe, is a 75 whopper plopper, one of the smaller ones. I definitely don't plop as loud. Don't get me wrong when I say I feel like it's getting it's tight in here. It just it feels really smooth. Like there's really not a lot of play in there at all. Maybe that's what I'm feeling. It just it might just break in a little bit too.
double check, see what. Yeah, it's a 75. 75 whopper plopper. Wow, that was a good cast. Starting to get a little used to it, just giving it some little bit more power on the push on the rod. Rained all night last night, thunderstorms. About eight o'clock now. Yeah, it stopped on its own right there. I, when it, once it got in the air and it got that distance where it had the distance, it just wasn't going no further. It was just going higher. I felt it break on me. Yeah, I think this would be a really good reel for a beginner, but very expensive for a beginner to try start off with something like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this Guggen spinner bait here. I put a little trailer on the end of it. Uh, I've used this once last week and caught a bass. Uh, I like this green ring here. It keeps the line from sliding down or around or tangling up with much stuff. I'm uh, pretty excited about that little dillio there. So overall, I really like the Corrado DC, Shimano Corrado DC. I uh, I definitely like to get another one. Um, wish I had more time to be out there fishing. I had to run, but didn't catch nothing. Kind of poor conditions. I was hoping to get lucky, <laughs> but uh, maybe next time. But uh, if you guys like my videos, please subscribe, like. I got some more videos coming up. I'm gonna. Uh, do some more work on the truck. Hopefully here soon I'll post a video of doing some fuel rails on the, or fuel lines on the truck. 